Welcome to another midweek message. As a little surprise, I'll put a little picture of Benji at the end of this midweek message, just so we can all see how big he is. He was a, a great little church baby before lockdown. Uh, he loved being handed around, and I hope that when lockdown opens up, he will be the same, although he will be a lot bigger. Well, this week for our midweek message, uh, it is entitled, What If the New Testament Was Written Today? Well, a few years ago, I was on a youth camp that was entitled, What If? And these two words really open up my mind to a lot of deep thinking. And I was preparing a, a Bible study for the young adults and the teens on pornography, or porneia in the Greek. And it got me thinking, what if the New Testament was written today? Would the writings of Paul differ if it was written today? Would God's stance change as time goes on? And it got me thinking, what if? Well, everything would change, but nothing would change at all. Everything would change in that the author would change, the time and, and recipients would change, and so that would change the, the, the flavor or the, the language, let's say, of the New Testament. But nothing would change because the New Testament was written by humans to a particular time, but it was also inspired by God and the Holy Spirit. And so God is outside of time, and so I can rest assured that what I read in my New Testament is written and inspired by God who sees time in one simple essence. He is not surprised by what is going on today. And so what Paul writes in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 3 that no sexual morality should even be named among us. Well if Paul wrote that today it would say the same thing because no amount of time would make the biblical authors more enlightened because they were inspired by the very God of the universe who created all things and who is outside of time and, and who sees time in one simple essence. And so what if the New Testament was written today? Well friends, nothing would have changed. The Bible would still be calling us to live sexually uh, are, the Bible would still be calling us to live as faithful followers of Christ. And so this has really got me challenged and really got me thinking, how seriously do I take the Word of God in my life? How seriously do I read what is on the pages of my New Testament and go, oh my word, this is the very Word of God. And how am I going to put it into practice in my life? And so, what if the New Testament was written today? Well, it would, everything would change because the author would change, but nothing would change. The eternal truths of God would not change in the New Testament. It stands firm, it stands true, and it stands everlasting. And so, would you join me this week in reading Psalm 119, the great psalm of God's Word, and with the question in mind, how does this psalm describe the Word of God? Thank you.